Let us talk through this train pest split. So this is a function, as you know, we imported in from this library. Notice again the from statement. So we are bringing in from this module. You can see it's the module and we're bringing in the function. And this is used to split data now. We could manually split the data between what we train our machine learning algorithm on versus what we test day on. So why do we do that? Why do we actually do the splitting? So these are the sizes of the houses and this is the price. So if we have a look at the output to understand what is going on. So when I output here the training set and the testing set, so you can see the data is split. So this is the original data over here. And what you I want you to notice is the row numbers on the side. So that's row number zero, row number one, two, three. So these are the unique IDs data frame gives automatically. Now in the training set, what I want you to notice is as to why we use this function. It's a built-in function into this library here. So we didn't write any of it and we gave it that we want to select 20% of the data for testing and we want it to be random. And notice here this unique number 42. This is just something I've selected, which will ensure every time I click play, it will generate the same set of sequence. So if we have a look at the training set here, you can see index 5 there is the data point that's been selected. So that that's there. The notice here, the number five that I've moved here. This is all as part of this function. So this function's job is to move the data about and randomly select. So it's random and this is still controlled by this variable here. But remember, this is just a random number we've selected. But what we want to do is every time we run this, we don't want to keep chaining the row order and so on. So there is a randomness or it's a controlled randomness. So still, it doesn't have any bias. So if we have a look at the training set data over here, so you can see all the rows, row zero. But if we have a look look at the test data which is this one over here and this one and we look at the value so it's row 8 and 1 that have been selected from the original so 8 that's that one 2500 and row number 1 800 that's this one over here so the reason we do the splitting like this this is for training this is for testing and we can see the output of that the reason we do run this function is the training set is used to train the model allowing it to learn patterns so we want it to learn from the data patterns we have here and why do we select few rows like the row number this one and i think it was this one that we selected for testing why is it that this is kept separate this is kept separate because it's used to assess a model's performance so we can test how accurate if we kept this data hidden from it and then later on use the model to check accuracy then the model wasn't aware of this data it allows us to check accuracy basically of our model and its performance